think I'm space staff, human from the earth You think I'm space staff, human from the earth You think I'm space staff, you think I'm space staff You think I'm space staff, human from the earth Out of me. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's, that's probably not good for the baby. I, I just heard yesterday and wanted to surprise you. Sorry. That's okay. I'm just so happy for you and John. I know I know you guys were trying oh, for a while. That's so sweet. Thanks, girl. Oh. No, I feel oh. like you're so delicate now. Like I'm kind of afraid to um, crush it. I mean you. I mean, you know, the little little peanut. Okay, <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Super weirdo. So, um, fa how far along are you? Nine weeks. It's actually a really funny story. The doctor originally told us 12 weeks, and I was like, what? 12 weeks? That would have been nice to know earlier. This is a funny story. Because, um, you know, we were going for it, like, all the time, and mm. I enjoy sex just as much as anybody else, but sometimes enough is enough, you know? And then we were going to take John to see the doctor to see if he might be, you know, womp womp. Does it ever gross you out a little? What? John's? Oh, what? Oh, no. I'm not talking about John's. I mean, why would I even want to think about your husband? Well, now I'm thinking about it. But, uh, no, what I meant was, like, it being in there, the, the, the fetus. The fetus? You think that's what we call it? The fetus? Uh, no. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> you, you, you probably call it, um, baby. Little... Little baby. baby. <laughs> if you must know, we call it our little miracle. Mm. We waited three years for this, and if it's a girl, we're gonna name her Miracle. Oh, <laughs> wow. That, that is so precious. Yeah, wow, that, that is amazing. Isn't it just like a little creepy, though? Creepy? You think the name Miracle is creepy? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not the name, no. Miracle is a great name, like a cool little hippie Christian celebrity baby name. No, what I meant was like uh, this alien thing just like feeding off your body. What? I mean, have you ever thought about how completely insane it is that a human thing is like growing in your uterus and feeding off of it? Like, you know, feed me Seymour. You know that plant that Rick Moranis feeds humans to. Never mind. And then when it finally does feel like forcing its way out of a teeny tiny hole in your body, there's like, uh, it's attached to you with a cord and, and they have to cut it. Oh. I mean, shit, man. Miracle my ass. That, that is some freaky men in black shit, you know? I mean, are you really gonna go through with that? Because I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can let oh. you go through with that. Wow, oh my god, okay. Breathe, breathe, honey, breathe. Annie, whoa, are you okay? Yes, sorry. Oh, don't mind us, we're good. Annie, what are you trying to do to me? This is stressful enough as it is. I don't need you unloading your rosies on me. What is wrong with you? I'm pregnant. Congratulations. Dave's really excited, but I am freaking out. Oh, I don't know. You seem like you're handling it really well. I keep having this dream that I give birth to one of those creatures from Fraggle Rock, but uh, it turns out they have to sacrifice me afterwards. There's this whole song about it. It's, it's actually very convincing. Okay, that is terrifying, but I'm pretty sure it'll be human. <gasps> I wish I could be strong like you, but I'm not. God, am I like, am I like the biggest wimp ever? Okay, stop. Girl, listen, listen. Everything is going to be fine. This is so exciting. Mm. There's nothing more natural and beautiful. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, and then natural and beautiful. Natural and beautiful. Na natural and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, okay, maybe you're right. I mean, so what if the sex goes downhill afterwards? I mean, that, that's not the end of the world. What? What do you mean? 
I've just heard a lot of stories, but whatever. I mean, we'll be too tired all the time anyway. Probably won't even want to do it anymore. Huh. And I mean, do we really need a savings account? Uh, you guys are so responsible. You've probably been saving for this for years. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. And like, the baby weight. You know, so what if we never get our abs and arms back? Is that really important? Yes. Well, I, I mean, no, <laughs> not super important. Exactly. And who cares if the schools around here are total crap, you know? We could just quit our jobs and homeschool, start wearing long jean skirts and move to the country. Homeschool? Mm. <laughs> Shit. Caffeine's not good for the fetus, right? No caffeine for my little miracle. Mm. God. I wish I were more like you. You probably have it all planned out. You know, read a million parenting books, nursery all decorated, baby shower planned. You're so great at this stuff. What? Uh, yeah, 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 totally have that all. Um, what, what you said. You know what? I feel a lot better. Like, this could actually be fun. <sighs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Rich on my donuts, babies off with grown ups. So, what's that make me? The sex sucks and my husband hates me. But look at our bundle of joy. I never knew something so cute can make so much noise. Every day, stepping on toys. Little miracle in me, crawling at my tummy. It's got a not shaped head and it looks so fun. It costs all your money, but it's worth it. To create someone so perfect. To nurture and love. Microwave, softball gloves. And after the birth, it's the afterbirth. You on the moon, I brought balloons to work. Congratulations on another full-time job. Two and two kids and a neighbor named Bob. The Moss class, pickles and ice cream. Pink and blue and all those nice drinks. Ooh.